close your eyes and make up your mind that you're going to stay right here. What does it mean to make up your mind? It means you stop and think for a bit. What would be a good thing to do right now? Once you've focused on something that would be really good, like focusing on your breath, then you have to see if there are any other parts of the mind that don't agree. And you have to get them to agree, or at least you have to get them out of the way. That's how you make up your mind. Because things outside are not going to destroy your concentration nearly as much as what you do yourself, that bird out there chirping right now. That's not going to destroy your concentration. But if you get upset about the bird, that's going to destroy it. So the choice is yours. Think of a John Cha's statement. It's not that sounds disturb us. We disturb the sounds. And then from disturbing the sounds, we go on to disturb the mind, disturb our concentration. Until there's almost nothing left. It's like that old cartoon of a person sitting and meditating. Then all of a sudden the word think appears across her forehead. And then another think at her leg, and another think on her arm. And then it's think, 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 and by the end of the cartoon it's just a cloud of think, think, think. She's disappeared. So let the bird do its thing. But you may, you've got to make up your mind that inside your mind you're not going to let everything just do its thing. You've made up your mind that you want to stay with the breath. So you've got to patrol the streets. Anybody who's going to come out and disturb the peace, you've got to make them peaceful. You've got to get them out of the way. So you're both focused on the breath and you're, you're guarding your focus on the breath. This requires discernment, in other words, seeing the tricks that your defilements have and then figure out how to get past them. And then truth. You really stick with this. Relinquishment, you give up everything that's going to get in the way. And then you can find some peace. That's what. Those are the four qualities of a good determination. So make sure that once you've made up your mind, you don't turn traitor to yourself. Switch sides. And start siding with all the parts of the mind that have other agendas, which may or may not be for your true best interest. For the most part, if they're interfering with the concentration, they're not for your best interest. They're a lot more short-sighted. So you've got to keep the long-term view in mind. You can't go by your likes and dislikes. You've got to go by what you know is the right thing to do and stick with that. Then you find that the concentration does begin to take shape. It begins to take strength. It's not just little scattered bits and pieces, but there's something whole to it, entire to it. And that's when it can show its real benefits, both in terms of the immediate pleasure that comes from getting the mind to settle down, and in the long-term benefits that come, when you've learned that, how to make up your mind and keep it made up. Don't make up your mind like you make up a bed. When you make up a bed, it stays made up for a while, and then you sleep in and make a big mess. Once you've made up your mind, keep it in good shape. Keep it in line with your original determination, so you don't have to make it up again. <laughs>